Hi, my name is Alex Sadorov. I work as a vulnerability researcher for Determinant Inc. Uh, most of my background is in exploit development and reverse engineering. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about how exploit writers go about developing exploits. Usually, the exploit development process starts with identifying a new vulnerability that you want to exploit. These software vulnerabilities are found in most applications and the most obvious way to tell that you have a new vulnerability is by observing an application crash. Every time Internet Explorer dies on you or your system blue screens, this is a possible indication that you have a vulnerability which might be very critical. Not all crashes are vulnerabilities, obviously, but most vulnerabilities are crashes. When an exploit developer starts with a crash, uh, the first thing that they look at is what causes the crash. Uh, usually there is some kind of memory corruption in the application and by using a debugger the exploit developer can identify what pieces of the program get overridden or corrupted. Uh, this memory corruption which usually results in a crash can be utilized to redirect the program execution to code that the uh, exploit developer has injected into the application or code that might already exist in an application but be utilized for some nefarious purpose. Most exploits start as an application crash but as the exploit development process progresses uh, the attacker can identify ways to control the crash. In fact, most exploits are actually controlled crashes and as the application explodes, the exploit develop, develop, developer will learn how to direct the blast wave of the application into the direction that they want. Uh, through this control, they can redirect the program execution and they can get the program to do something that it was not supposed to. For example, execute the so-called shellcode, which is a specific type of a payload that gives the attacker the ability to execute arbitrary commands on the user's system. If you want to get into white hat exploit development, uh, there are a few good resources that you can start with. Um, this didn't used to be the case, but now there are a number of pretty good books that describe exploit development in uh, great detail. Uh, one of them is Shell Cutter's Handbook. Another one is called The Art of Exploitation. Uh, there are a number of others, uh, but I recommend the first two. Uh, I've read them personally. I find them pretty good references. There's also a number of uh, good websites that deal with uh, this kind of material. Uh, probably a great resource to start with is the Metasploit Framework which is an open source exploit development system. It comes with a lot of exploits that you can look at and learn from.